We're here at gotomath.com, working in definite integration. We are going to be, I'm just scrolling down here to find out where we're at. Whoa, tan, 7 tan, tan x. Need to get a tan? Check this out. Okay, so write this down. We got the integral of 3 tan x dx. The integral of 3 tan x dx. The integral 3 tan x dx. Okay. And uh, how about I just rewrite this, pull the 3 out front just for the heck of it. tan x dx. So like I said, this is a section where you got to memorize what these integrals are. Alright, got to memorize what the integrals are going to be. Alright, so the integral of tan x is going to be the natural log of the absolute value of cosine x. You're probably going, what the heck? I'll never remember that. Sure you will if you write it down. But it's also, there's a negative out front. Okay. Negative 3 natural log of cosine x plus c. Now, you know what? Let's check that. Okay. Let's, let's check this. Now, a lot of times we'll do this called the antiderivative and we'll call it at capital F of x. And let's just do that. So negative 3 natural log, this is a little something extra here in this problem. Alright, plus c. So we're going to come up here and we're going to take the derivative of this thing because we're going to check our work. Take the derivative of the antiderivative and that will get us back this guy right here hopefully. So do we remember how to take the derivative of the natural log function? Well you take the derivative of the inside and the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x, remember? And then you just rewrite it over the top of cosine x, right? Just rewrite down the denominator, what's in there. Now we still have, oh, we've got this negative 3 out front. So I'm going to write this with a parentheses right here because this negative is kind of messing us up, right? It's kind of sloppy there, but well, a negative 3 times a negative makes that a positive out of positive 3. And you can rewrite sine x over cosine x as tan x. Do you see that? It's tan x. And so look at here. f prime of x. Now that's capital F. That's the antiderivative. But we took the derivative of the antiderivative and we get back 3 tan 3 tan x. Um, some I actually forgot. Taking the derivative of constant 0, right? I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Okay. So we just showed that this is the antiderivative. Okay. Negative 3 natural log cosine x plus c. And there it is. So you better come on by and practice that and be a good boy and girls. Good boys and girls. All right. And I might see you there at go2math.com.